So you don't have time to consume an entire podcast. That's okay. Enjoy the highlights on TRS Clips. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell icon. Keeping that in mind, let's talk about the other narrative, which mm. is PMS. Mm. When we say someone is PMSing, you're the doctor. Mm. So what does medical science have to say about PMS? Is it actually a thing where girls get very emotionally affected during PMS? Like, I mean, honestly, I don't think we're in a position to answer this because we have balls, basically. So we'll never completely know, but Correct. medical science perspective. So yeah, so that is definitely a problem when we don't have representation from a woman to talk about something that affects them. Uh, but I will I will say this: uh, there are there are hormonal changes that happen during the cycle of a period, and hormones do affect your state of mind. Okay, it affects your attention, it affects your focus, it affects your mood. So not all women will go through the same symptoms, right? Just like not um, actually, you can't even compare with yeah. anything, right? So that's there is no good analogy to give there for the guy version of it. Correct. Isn't? There's no good analogy to give there, uh, but. Even in guys, the hormone levels affect your mood. Mm. In guys, there is no not such a clear cut cyclical variation, but even in guys, hormonal levels do affect. Um, the, uh, the other thing with PMS is that the effect of pain. So that is another level. So it's not just hormones, but uh, chronic pain or periodic pain also affects people differently. So your mood can get affected. Again, your state of mind can af get affected by that also. So I feel that PMS is a complex issue because it puts together many variables. It's not just hormones. It's also physical symptoms, mental symptoms. It's also environmental symptoms. There is a possibility of uh, your home not being as comfortable. You know, there are still in some houses, there are social taboos against period. Uh, all of those things can add up mm. to that experience. Mm. So... But the, definitely there are neuroscientific explanations for this. Mm, okay. Um, again, keeping science in mind, mm -hmm. I once asked a female colleague of mine, I, I, I asked her that, tell me something that a guy should know about girls. And this particular person mm -hmm. said that, you know, when they say that sometimes we can get hormonal, I think it's true. She said that. Sure. Is that true that in a woman, woman's biological system and you're the doctor? Mm -hmm. So is according to science, are there more variations in hormones for women? Is there some scene like this? So this cycle of uh, ovulation and having your menstrual, having menses, that cycle does affect hormones. It is not universally true that the same cycle will affect all women in the same way. So the my problem with that statement would be the generalization of it. Mm. And that is where problems happen because then we can use that to dismiss or explain a lot of behavioral patterns, which is not fair. Mm. Right. So in a particular woman, it is possible that at different periods in her cycle, she might be having different mood swings. That is absolutely possible. But then you cannot use that to generalize and say, oh, women are being hormonal. Mm. That jump is where the problems happen.